What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield, hopping onto the rank double ladder with this team sent in by my boy Dan. Yo, Dan, thank you so much for dropping this team right here. If you guys want to drop teams for me to use on my YouTube videos, head to the link in the description below. Jeans underscore YouTube on my Instagram. The link is in the description below. Like I just said, DM me over there. Send me the teams. But yo, Jeans, here you go. Here's a new season six team, and I'll check it out and potentially use it. But this team over here is a nice little rain team over here with Swift Swim Bear. I haven't been able to use this ability yet, so it's going to be hype for today's video. If you guys are excited, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you guys so much for the support that has been going out on the channel. But rocking out on the scene, we got Noivern over here as our Tailwind Pokemon with Hurricane, Heat Wave, and Draco Meteor. I absolutely love Noivern. I think this Pokemon is so cool and a little underrated. It is just like, I don't know. Something about it just makes me love it so much. This thing also has Frisk as its ability and that Focus Ash so it doesn't get one tap. We also got Politoed as our Rain Setter. It has Drizzle as its ability, Citrus Berry, and then like a normal move set, nice support move set with Skull Protect, Encore, and Helping Hand. Also got our support Sableye. This thing's an absolute beast. Everyone knows Sableye's an amazing support mod with Prankster as its ability to give a first turn priority. Eject button so when it gets hit, it can bounce out. Fake out, Rain Dance, Alley Switch, and Quash. One of my favorite moves that they, it can actually learn is Quash. So we're going to be using that a good bit today. We also got Swift Swim Bear Tech, our big life for Pokemon with this awesome coverage move set. Play Rough, Icicle Crash, Liquidation, and Brick Break to actually take out screens. I actually, I absolutely love Brick Break because I feel like not a lot of Pokemon use it or people use it on their teams. And screens are very viable in uh, today's meta. We got also have Blastoids because you can't have this little rain team without big old Blastoids. Double cannon on the back. Rain Dish. Leftovers as its ability. Not ability. As its item. Protect Flash Cannon, Hydro Pump, and Dragon Pulse as its moveset. And then in the final spot, we got the Beast of a Technician. Technician Scissor. Jeez, can't talk right now. Assault Vest so it can eat up some special attacks. Bullet Punch for that stab first turn priority. And then it gets that boost because of its ability. Assurance. X Scissor and Dual Wing Beat. Guys, you want to try out the scene for yourself? Rental code is at the bottom of the screen. Let's get after it. Let's try to get some wins on the rank ladder with Dan's team. Before we even jump into our first battle, I got a little question of the day for you guys. So, as you guys know, the little Mario Direct did happen a couple days ago by the time this video goes live. But let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think of it. Like, I am so hyped for uh, Super Mario 3D All-Stars, the three games, Galaxy 64 and Sunshine All-in-One. I'm so hyped for that. And also, let me know when I do a playthrough on those games, which games do you want to see first? Is it going to be Mario 64, Mario Sunshine, or Galaxy? Whichever I get like the most comments, I'll probably play first. So get down in that comment section down below and let me know what you guys would like to see. But first battle coming out here, this guy's got Talon Flame, Porygon Z. I feel like Porygon Z made a huge jump ever since uh, all the bans happened. So Porygon Z, I've been seeing a good bit. This thing also has Urshifu, Delmize, Clefairy, and Draco Zolt. Hmm. Who can roll Trick Room on this team? Can anybody roll Trick Room? Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. I'm not too sure. But I'm going to go Noivern here. I'm going to go Noivern. And do I lead Skizzy too? Get a little scissor action out there? I could drop, or I could just go straight into the rain. That is a possibility. Just outspeed and start uh, trying to do some work. You know what? Let's go for it. No, let's go uh, Noivern. We can go Sableye into Blastoids. Bring Bear Tick. No, no, no. I messed up. I messed up. I want to bring Politoed. And I want to take out... Uh, I messed up. Totally. I messed up totally. Hopefully, we can actually uh, get this rolling. I want to bring a Scizor. Maybe I should have went... Uh, Maybe I should have went Sableye, Scizor, and not bring the Polytoad and just have the uh, the Sableye roll rain. Mmm. Mmm. Dean's messing up already in the first battle, but yeah, we're going to get after it and try to get ourselves the first win for this first battle. Let's see. Porygon and Talonflame. I knew he was going to go Talonflame. I kind of saw that coming. That's kind of why I want to get out rain. But I'll take Noivern and Polytoad getting out here. I have both these guys out here. Dang, dude. I told you. I totally messed up. We're going to get rain, though. I could set up a Tailwind. I could do a lot here. Um, he's probably going to Dynamax that up, Porygon, no doubt in my mind. The Porygon's going to get the Dynamax. Good job, Hurricane. This is 100% uh, super effective. Or not super effective, 100% hitting. And I could go for the Ducks. This is exactly what I'm going to do. And I'm going to go for a Scald over on this end. Because he's definitely Dynamax that Porygon, Z. Right? He's got to be Dynamax at Porygon. So who else do I have in the back? I thought I didn't bring Moivrin. Hold up. Who do I have on team? I thought it was Blastoise, Bear Tech. I thought it was Blastoids, Bear Tick, Politoed, and Sableye. Please tell me I brought both Blastoids and, uh... That would make me a little bit more happier if I brought Blastoids and Bear Tick. 
We're sitting, we're sitting in a pretty tough spot here. Town flame goes for the tailwind. Kind of saw that coming. I kind of got to match that after this. So who's he going to go? He's going to go for a lightning over my Palitoad. That's fine. Can we eat this? Probably not. Dang, man. Dang, man. Dang, lightning got me. Now the electric terrain is popping out here. We are going to drop a nice big hurricane. Can we get the ducks? That's the real question. I need bear tick right now. Bear tick can be huge with that swift swim going on. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Light four damage. Give me the ducks. Show me the ducks. Nice damage. Give me the ducks. Give me the quackens. No quacks. Yo, Sableye and bear tick. Okay, we're still Sash, so I can definitely get off a Tailwind. I got a Dynamax Bear Tick here. That's a fact. That's a fact. That's a big old fact. And I gotta take out that Talon Flame, right? Let's go here. Let's set up that Tailwind. Um, hmm. Where do I go straight into a, uh... Hmm, what should I go into? I wanna go into the Geyser, and I really do wanna take out the... I really do wanna take out the Talon Flame, though. Do I just guard this turn? I do not have guard. Which is a little tough. Which is a little tough. I really do want to take out Talonflame, but Talonflame might be a... Uh... No, I'm just going to take out the Porygon Z here. I'm just going to take out the Porygon Z. Let's get it. Let's get after it. We got Swift Swim. We might be able to actually outspeed this uh this Porygon Z. It's going to be close. It's going to be close because of Swift Swim. Well, let's just see what happens. Bear Tick gets the Dynamax. I wish I had guard here because I 100% would have guarded. But the rain is going to neglect some of that fire damage when it does come through up against my Bear Tick. Which is totally fine, because you know he's probably going to go for a Flare Blitz, and then uh, probably go into a Max Strike on my Bear Tech. Yes, yeah, so here comes the Flare Blitz. We still eat that up. Eat that up just dandy, and I think it's going to take some nice recoil damage and take off its Gale Wings. And here comes the Max Strike. Kind of saw that one coming as well. Over on my Noivern. Noivern is Sash. Awesome. We're definitely going to be able to get off a Tailwind, and we're going to be chilling here. Bear Tech is going to take uh, Fastest on the field, I think, with Swift Swim and Tailwind. Ban, ban, dun, dun, dun. And then I'm gonna hope Noivern actually outspeeds this uh this what's called this talent plan. I'm not dealing with it. And this should be able to take out. This should be able to pick up KO on the Porygon. Tell it to get out of my face. Get going, kid. I didn't want to drop a hailstorm. I know it's stabbed, but I didn't want to change up the weather. I like having a swift swim. I feel like that's the only downside to Bear Tick is when you Dynamax him, especially when he has that life form. You can't really go into that hailstorm unless you want to change up the weather. Here goes our tailwind. We're gonna start taking speed advantage too. And I kinda wanna swap in. No, I do not want to swap in. I feel like uh I'm just gonna use Sableye to keep my Bear Tick alive. I feel like that's the play. Draco's ult is gonna come out here, and now I am 100% dropping the ice. I'm dropping the ice, yo. I'm dropping the ice. I ain't playing around. We gotta go Hurricane here. Actually, do I just go here? I think I go Draco Meteor, and that guys are over on this side. And take out the Talon Flame. I think that's the call. Let's see, who goes first? That thing still outspeeds me. That thing is quick, man. I'm Swift Swim and I'm Tailwind, which is nutty. Which is nutty. Let's go. All I need is my boy Noivern out, speed my that uh, Draco Soul, and just dump on it. The Town Flame's gonna go down here. Because if I can just. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. I'll be fine if this thing can just land this Draco Meteor and take this thing out. And outspeed it. Let's see. Oh, you really outspeeding? You really outspeeding? Oh! Oh! No! No! Ah! I thought Noivern was way faster than that. Oh, good. Draco Meteor is gonna connect. It misses? What you mean? What do you mean it misses? <laughs> this game trash. <laughs> oh, man. We should have took out the Draco's ult. We should have took out the Draco's ult and rolled from there. Uh, Got to go for a hurricane. And hope this thing takes that out. We got to go for that, and I got to fake out you. Let's get it. Let's get it. We're going to fake out on Draco's ult. This thing might ally switch. And if he ally switches, then it's kind of game. He does not. He does not. Then I can quash it. We can take this thing out in one shot here. Well, this one could come down. Because I can always quash it. Take it out. Give it the ducks. Something like that. Give it the ducks. Show me the ducks. No ducks, man. Got my face. Anchor shot coming out here. You're dead. You are dead. No. Man. What you mean? What you mean? That one Peter's out. Oh, for them. It's up to Sableye. Can Sableye do the dirty work? He has no attacking moves. I'm out of here. Match one. Is an L. I feel like we probably would have won that game if I would have got the team I liked. We played pretty good though. We still had a shot at winning, but we're going to start off the video 0 1. We're going to hop into our second battle and try to get our first win. So, in that last battle, that Draco Zolt must have been scarfed. I swear, because Noivern is 175 speed and a tailwind. So, that thing had to have been tailwind and scarf in order to outspeed my Noivern. But that is exactly what it was, so it's all good. We are hopping into our second battle. This guy's got Gujra team with Tangrowth. Yo, you love to see Tangrowth. 
You'd love to see. He's got Power Spot, um, Stone Journer, Zoroark, and uh, Lapras as well. I heard uh, what's called is going to be a big part of the, the meta in Season 6, Gudra and Comfy. I feel like that's just like big plays right there. But who should I go into? I gotta actually pick a team this time. Come on, Gene, you're better than that. We're gonna lead Sableye. No, not Bear Tech. We're gonna lead Sableye. I don't think we really need a speed advantage. I feel like we kind of have that already. Um, so Sableye can come out here. Uh, do I lead Skiz? Do I lead Skizzers? We're gonna lead Skizzies. Uh, we'll get Skizzer out there. Uh, Bear Tech and Blastoids? I'm liking it. I'm liking it a lot. Let's get it. Let's get going. Trying to get our first win for today's video. That last one, I, feel, I thought we were actually going to be able to take it, but if I had like one other Pokemon, if I would have had Scizor in there, maybe instead of Sableye or something along those lines, we probably could have won that game. We probably could have won that game because Sableye didn't really do too, too much besides that fake out at the end and that Draco Meteor should have landed. Like say that Draco Meteor would have landed and we would have took out the, uh, the, what's it called? The Draco Zolt. Then I could have just brought in Scizor and rolled out, but... It's all good. We chillin'. We got shiny Scizor right here. He's looking spiffy. Looking better green than that guy. I don't know. Who's got a better green? The Scizor or the Tangrowth? That Tangrowth has some nice green. I uh, could fake out. Um, I wonder what that Tangrowth is really going for here. I'm definitely going to fake out the Confi. I'm not trying to deal with it. And I'm going to go into an X Scizor here. And try to do some mean damage over on this Tangrowth right here. Which Tangrowth might actually die next. We'll see what this thing's all about. I think it have like Sleep Powder or something. I think it has something like that. I think it learned Sleep Powder. Which it might go for. Which it might go for. I probably... Actually, I shouldn't have quashed it. These guys are slow as buns. And I probably should have faked out that, uh... That Tangrowth instead of the Confi. I should have faked out the Tangrowth. Actually, he might swap the Tangrowth. Which I wouldn't mind. What you gonna do, fool? What you gonna do? Let's see what he does. He's gonna Diamond Axe. So good thing we did not fake out the Tangrowth. Good thing we didn't fake out the Tangrowth. So we fake out the Confi. Tangrowth's gonna get the Dynamax. Confi gets the Dynamax? Hold up! What is going on here? What is going on here? What is this? What is this? Yo, have you guys ever seen this? <laughs> it's nuts. That is just nuts. Big fake out damage. And, well, oh, it's a Zoroark, yo. What you mean? Throwing me a curveball. Throwing me a curveball. What you mean? <laughs> Bro, bro, stop. Stop. Chill on me. Chill on me. Chill on me. What is this game? What is this game? What is this game? Yo, what is going on here? Somebody, please. Please tell me what is going on here. Who do I want to go into? Do I want to go into Blastoids and roll out from there? Drop a rain dance. I think I just go into Bear Tick and, and Dynamax him. Oh my lord. What is going on? <laughs> that threw me off so hard. Illusion. Zoroark over here. I'm going to get a little rain dance rolling. And I'm going to Dynamax. And I could do all different stuff here. I'm probably going to Starfall. I could Hailstorm. But I'd rather Starfall. What's going to do more damage? I think a Starfall would do more damage over on the Zoroark. Than a Geyser in the rain but still yo what is this crazy dude this dude is crazy let's get our dynamax rolling oh my lord oh my lord yo i just can't i just cannot believe it like i was sitting there in all all i was like dude who dynamax and comfy i faked it out i was just like nah son zoro max player see you later scissor like yo props to this guy props to this guy what a play what a play let's see what goes on here Rage Powder coming in here. Oh, you smart little cookie. You smart little cookie. But good thing we're going for a nice little, uh... Hey, what's it called here? We're going for a Starfall. Let's get it. Drop a little bit of rain. Drop a little bit of rain action. Let's get it. This thing is bulky, dude. That Tangrowth with the Rage Powder. Starfall coming out here. We're going to set this little terrain. Let's get it. Boop. Do poo-poo damage. I, I should drop that. Actually, should I drop the Hailstorm here? Should I drop the Hailstorm? I do go first. I could just rain dance next turn. Let's see what this thing's gonna go for. Buy another flare? Yeah. Gonna drop another flare. That's gonna do not too much damage. We're chilling with that. The rain is definitely helping it out a lot. Uh, do I just rain dance? Because I'm gonna change. I think I, ch I change up the weather here anyway. I could just ally switch, which is exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna ally switch and go for the hailstorm. Let's get it. Let's get after this thing. Let's get after it. Hopefully this thing like guards or something along those lines. 
Any rage powder coming out here? I can see another rage powder dropping. But Alex switch popping. It's pretty nice. We're switching places. He's gonna go for another rage powder. That's totally fine. We're dropping this hailstorm. And then hopefully my boy can survive here. Oh, he's gonna outspeed now. No way. No way. You read that. No way. No way. That that's my that's my bad. I thought uh, darkness was super effective to my boy, but it's not. Never mind. We did not read that. I guess he was just going for straight max darkness up against my bear tick. Bear tick's gonna drop a hailstorm. We could set the rain next turn, which will help us out, but I don't know. What should I do here? We say bye bye to tan growth. We get that stab super effective now. Now it's just down to my blastoids and this. So his dynamax turns are over. I think I gotta set the rain here. That will help out my blastoids and my bear tick in the long run. So let's definitely set the rain next turn. Let's see what we can do. I'm gonna lose some HP. Buffett's gonna come out here. Let's get it. Let's get after it. And bring out Blastoids. The Blastoids can come out here. I might just protect them depending on what Pokemon comes out. Then I can set the rain. I can set up the rain dish. And then have Swift Swim rolling. But definitely gotta drop a geyser. Definitely got a geyser. Yeah. Definitely got a geyser. But I'm hoping I can eat up this, uh... What's it called? The fire move that Zorok's gonna use. So he definitely has Confi in the back. He's gonna come out here. Hello, Confi. How you doing? How you doing, Confi? Now I wish I had my scissor, dude. I wish I had my skizzors, dude. All right, so we're gonna roll from here. We gotta set the rain. That's a fact. I'm gonna go after. Uh, kind of wanna get rid of the Zoro. And he's gonna go after my what's called anyway. He's going to go after my bear tech anyway with a fire move, so I'm just gonna drop a flash guy instead of protect. So that's the play. That is the play. Bear tech, eat up. Yo, say that's a tasty snack. You got Zoro. It's not stab damage. I feel like ice should neglect some uh, fire damage as well. Like, you gotta melt the ice before you get the bear tick. You know what I'm saying? Like, the hail. You, you know, like, come on. The hail should do a little bit of something. Like, all, all weather has, like, their... Like, I feel like hail should have more of an effect. Does it not? Alex Switch comes out here. I'm cool with it. That's fine by me. I'll have Swift Swim after this anyway. We're gonna drop a little bit of flash again. Dark Pulse comes out. That's fine. Bear tick says, yo, tasty snack there. I gotta watch out for what's called uh, first turn priority now. I don't watch out for a Confi's first turn priority. He might try this year. Here comes a geyser. We're gonna set this rain. Rain dish is gonna come out here. And uh we get Swift Swim. So I wonder if Confi is going to go for a uh a draining kiss to try to take out my bear tech. Hmm. What are you going to do, kind sir? There goes this little is that a check button? Nope, it's leftovers. It's leftovers. He has a little apple on the side. So we have first turn priority, unless this thing goes for a draining kiss, it might go for a try -ish. I wish I had protect. I gotta go for an icicle crash. Over on the Zoro. I'm definitely gonna flash cannon over on this side. I really wonder what this thing's gonna do. It's gotta go for a terrain and kiss and look for the KO, right? It has some misty terrain out, which is helping it out tremendously. Don't you go for that terrain and kiss. I'm not dealing with the comfy man. It's gotta be, right? Floral healing. Okay, so it goes for the floral healing. I'm totally fine by that. He's gonna heal up the Zoro. I'm cool with that. I'm totally cool with that. Because I think this Flash Cannon should be able to take out the, uh, the Confi. And Icicle Crash can do big damage over here. Can we pick up the KO here? Doom Dirty. Doom Dirty. We have a Flint Chance as well. Get him out of here. Get him out. Let's go. Let's get it. Big play coming out from Bear Tick. Let's go. Flash Cannon. Pick up the KO here. I would love you forever. I would love you forever, Flash Cannon. Get it, Blastoids. Coming in. Take that thing out. Get it out. Get it gone. Ah! Uh, e! Ah! Uh. Dude, come on, man. Come on. That would have won us the game. That would have won us the game right there. I'm pretty sure we just lost because of that. Oh, my lord. And now he's going to send out Lapras. Bruh. Bruh, 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 What you mean? What do you mean? Man, dude, I wish I had protect right now. Oh. He's going to drain and kiss and just take out my, uh, my dude. Mean. What do you mean? Get out my face, yo. This thing has freeze dry, yo. Oh my lord. I cannot stand this game. Mmm. Dude, we gotta just hope this thing doesn't go for a, uh. We just gotta hope this thing doesn't go for a, uh. Draining kiss. I think best bet would be to go for a flash cannon. Oh my lord. Draining kiss, Giga Drain comes out. He still gets first turn priority. Oh no, he's hitting you. Hold the phone. So you're saying there's a chance. So you're saying there's a chance. We both should be able to outspeed this thing. Let's get it. This thing's policy. I thought this one's going to be close now. Liquidation comes out. 
gonna take you out. And Flash Cannon's gonna slide across. Okay, who's he gonna go after? That's my real question. Veritek's gonna survive another turn. Flash Cannon comes out here. Give us a give us a drop. Give us a drop. Give us a drop. Nope. Goes for thunder. E Blast Switch gone here. Blast Switch definitely gone. Eat it up somehow, Blast Switch. Nope, Blast Switch gone. So Beartick's gotta clutch up here. Somehow Beartick has to do enough damage to take out Lapras here. And then Mist disappeared. That was gonna be my thing. I'll, I'll play rough, but. I think this one's over. I think this one is over. Mmm. Brick Break's our best bet. We gotta hope for a big old crit. We gotta hope for a big old crit. And we gotta take this win. Get it, Beartick. Do him dirty. Brick Break comes out. Yay! Get it. Let's go. Let's go. Wasn't even a crit, and it still took him out. I thought we needed a crit there. But, yo, Bear Tick coming in clutch there, winning us that game. That is crazy. That is crazy that Confi did survive on that little bit of HP. But we end up picking up the win and going one and one with this team. I am not going to lie. We should have lost that last game. If that Confi would have just went into a Giga Drain or a Draining Kiss over on my Bear Tick like a turn or two turns earlier, he would have took it out, and he would have been chilling with just a Thunder going up against my Blastoids. But here we go. Hopping into our third and final battle here. Can we get a winning record? I hope so. I really do hope so. This guy's got Skizzy, Skizzy, Skizor, Scizor over here. Uh, Nine Tails, Alolan Nine Tails, Milotic, Mamoswine, Gudra, and Gengar. Yo, Gengar looking good, dog. He's looking real good. Um, I'm kind of worried. I'm kind of worried about that Gudra. Like, Gudras always pose a big threat, but I do have Bear King. Which I absolutely love. Absolutely love having Bear Tick. I don't think we need a Tailwind. I really do not. I'm going to lead Skizor and Sableye. And I want to bring Bear Tick. And I think we want to bring Blastoids once again. And go with that same squad. I think we can roll out and we can look pretty strong here. What do I want to go for? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, if he leads Ninetales, I'm fine with that. I think, I think I'm cool with this team. If he leads Ninetales, I can just fake it out. Hit it with that bullet punch. Like, yo, get out my face. Go home, kid. And then other than that... No, dude, I think I think the only Pokemon I'm really worried about is going to be that Gudra and that Milotic, maybe. Gudra and Milotic. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah, I'm definitely really hyped for uh the Mario 3D All-Stars. There's three games like crazy, yo. Crazy. The only thing I wish, so like I'm kind of disappointed, but at the same time, I'm not like I can't complain. I wish they would have fully made them into HD remakes. Like Mario 64 should have had brand new graphics, should have been looking beautiful. Same thing with a. Uh, Sunshine and Galaxy, even though Sunshine and Galaxy are more new, they look a little bit better. But still, I want it like a full HD remake. You guys know what I'm saying? You guys definitely do. But we gotta fake out on the Mammoth Swan. That's a fact, because we cannot do it on the Gengar. And I could just go right into a bullet punch. Which is exactly what I th I'm going to do. Get stab, all that good stuff rolling. Fake out. And then roll from there. What are we gonna do? He might Dynamax Cigar. I think he's gonna Dynamax Cigar, or at least go for a Hypnosis. Which I I'll be fine with. I'm chewing. I'm chewing. Get it. Let's get after it. What you want, fool? You don't want it. You don't want it. Yo, I love Gengar. Dude. Gengar is one of the coolest Pokemon. I think ever. I think ever. Same thing with Grand Ninja. Grand Ninja is sick. I love Skeptile. There's so many cool Pokemon. Another question of the day. Yo, let me know what your favorite Pokemon of all time is. Or, or give me top three, because there's so many Pokemon. Give me top three. I would love to know. But he's going to Dynamax here. And I think it's going to be the Gengar, considering it's in a Dusk Ball. Nope, it's going to be the Mammoth Swan. Bruh, what you mean? Alright, so the Pokemon that we are faking out and Bullet Punch is gonna get Dynamax. Hopefully, this thing's up policy. That Gengar's gotta be there for like hypnosis and all that good stuff, in my opinion. Fake out comes out. And then let's drop this Bullet Punch. Yeet! Not paid damage coming out. I think it's not policy. And the Taunt's gonna come out here. What the my? Yo, what you mean? Uh, I think I gotta swap now. I think I definitely gotta swap him. Quake's coming out. Leave him alone. Leave my Pokemon alone. Leave my Scissor alone. Eat it up, Scissor. Yo, you got a tasty snack right there. Real tasty. Um. Okay. Wait, right, what am I going to from here? Special defense is getting boosted. Boosted out the roof. Uh, I definitely got a swap, Sableye. Let's go for an assurance. Hmm. Scissor, Scissor's not that fast. Like, you would think Scissor is way faster. You would really think Scissor is way faster than what it really is. It's only 85. So, I think we gotta go into a bullet punch. And do a little bit more damage over here. So I'm going to drop a bull punch. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I think I got a swap here. Or I could just uh, wait for the eject button to pop out. Would I rather swap into Blastoids, I guess? Yeah. Let's swap into Blastoids. Taunt, we can't really do anything. It's kind of tough. So I, that's why I usually like to rock like foul play on my uh, 
on my save life for instances like that. Bullet Punch comes out again. We're doing some more damage. Let's get it. I don't know if another Bullet Punch will take out. Shadow Ball is going to pop here as well. And it's going to take out Skizzies. Skizzy down. Yo, Skizzy down. He gets a crit. What you mean? <laughs> crit happening. Gengar's looking cool, looking all spiffy, doing his little body wiggles. And he's going to go for another Max Quake. For Stab, getting a special defense boost as well. Um, How do I roll with this one? How do I roll? I think I have to Dynamax here, right? Here goes my leftovers. I feel like I have to Dynamax Bear Tick. And maybe protect my Blastoids. I think that's the play. I think that's the play call. Get Bear Tick up in here. We're going to Dynamax Bear Tick. And we are definitely going to uh, protect Blastoids. And then we're going we're gonna to set... Do I set the rain on my own? I feel like this geyser should be able to take out this, uh, this Mammoth Swine. So we're going to do that. And I'm gonna, just going to sit here and protect. Try to get that rain dish HP and uh, leftovers HP. And then roll from there. Because he's got to be uh, dropping maybe a Shadow Ball over all my Blastoids. And then going for the big shot on my uh, Bear Tick. But Bear Tick should 100% outspeed the Mammoth Swine. Take it out, set the rain. We should be chilling and look good after that. Because then we still have Sableye in the back with Fake Out. We can sit there and quash up, all that good stuff. Pester, Ally Switch, and kind of just keep my Bear Tick or Blastoids alive in this instance. So, I think we're fine here. We'll take Weather Control. Yo, dude, I'm loving this team so far. Yo, Dan, thank you so much for dropping this team. I really do appreciate it. I really do. And, dude, Swift Swim, Swift Swim Bear Tick is just awesome. This is just awesome. Like, I love how they gave this thing this ability. Just rocks out. Protect coming out here. Big turtle using the shield. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Shadow Ball. Kind of saw that coming into my Blastoids. We get that little protect action going. And then, guys, it should be able to roll out. Take out big dog Mammoth Swine. What is he? He's a big old mammoth. I was going to say, what is he? A pig? Yeah. No, he's a mammoth. He's got tusks. He's got all that stuff. He's Manny the Mammoth from Ice Age. If you guys ever saw that movie or any of those movies, they're fire. They are some good animated movies. Like, up there. Like, top tier animated movies. So good. But everyone knows how the best animated movie on the planet. And if you guys disagree, you can get out of here. Shrek, yo. Shrek rocks. Everybody knows Shrek is so good. It is hilarious. It has a good little storyline. It's just great. You can quote it all the time. Like, in the morning, I make waffles. Like, come on. Come on. Who doesn't love Donkey, dude? Donkey cracks me up. But we get the rain dish. We get the leftovers HP. Um, we start taking speed advantage, too, because of Swiss Swim. Ninetales is going to pop out here. Oh, yes, sir. Yo, I got flash cannon rolling. I think I'm just going to flash cannon that thing. Oh, he's going to change weather on me. What you mean? <laughs> Coming out here, changing weather on me. I got to change it again. No, make me change it again, dog. I'm going to go here, and I'm going to go protect. Well, not protect. I'm going to go flash cannon over on Ninetales. I think he's going to set an Aurora Veil. I can drop that and drop a Brick Brick later, too, on that. It'll make me do it. I feel like we should be able to eat up a Shadow Ball. How are you going to lie here? <clears throat> but we are minus one on special defense. So let's just see what happens. Let's see how this rolls out. Ah, dang, Ninetales. Saving them for later in the game. Coming up big, though. That's coming up big for him. But hey, hey. Hey. Dun, dun, dun. Let's go, jeans. I am going to hopefully win this match. <laughs> Make a move, dog. Make a move. What are you going for? Sludge Bomb. Oh, you Sludge Bombing me like that? Yo, you nuts. You nuts. That was big. Oh, I don't know if that was a big mistake. He's going to drop me. I can Rain Dance X right now, and I eat up, which is lovely. Thank you very much. Flash Cannon coming out here, doing big damage, and we're going to get that weather once again. Take him out. Oh, you sash. You lucky little buttery biscuit, dude. You lucky buttery biscuit. Give me my rain back, too. Give me my rain back. I'm not dealing with you. I'm not dealing with it. Take him out. Mm. Ah, E. All right, so I got speed advantage, 100%. Swift Swim Bear Tick got speed, 100%. Um, do I start boosting my attack? I could just go into a nice big old punch. Rain Dish coming out here. Give me that HP. I could protect as well. I could protect as well. Get some more HP. <laughs> I could do it. But I definitely want to go into a max knuckle. I want to boost my attack here. I'm just going to protect. Do I protect? Yeah. Because the Gengar's got to go after my blast Let's see what happens here. Gengar's got to go after my blast That's got to be a fact. I'd rather protect here and play this one slow. Let's get it. Here's Knuckle. Knuckle's going to take him out. We get our attack boost, which is just beautiful. There's no way you're reading the protect. Actually, it, that would be a pretty easy uh, protect to read. But there's no way. This guy is not smart enough. He's like, dude, Gengar's going to go down soon. I might as well drop a, a sludge bomb or something into that blast switch. Show it to me. Show it to me. Show it to me. No, he reads it. Buttery biscuit, man. God dang. I didn't have to protect. I could have just took that thing out. But I got speed advantage. I got swift swim. We'll get some more HP back. 
Look, I could have attacked that turn, protect the next turn, and been almost up the green again. Rain Dish is rocking out for us, doing wonders. Doing wonders with the leftovers. Sometimes it's hard to get the Rain Dish and leftovers combo rolling, but right now I got it going good. Oh, Gooja's coming out here. Oh, you getting that icicle drop, man. You getting that icicle drop. You are getting that icicle drop. We're getting it. Do I go for the icicle crash? 85? No, we're going for it. Stab this will just dump on that thing. And I'm gonna just drop a flash cannon and take out the Gengar. Let's get it. Let's see what happens here. Icicle crash, connect. Yes, okay, so he's gone. That's gone. That's see you later, gone city. We're plus one in that too. Get out of here, Gudra. We're gonna take home battle number three. You love to see it. You love to see it, baby. Let's get it, get it. I am the best. Blood Bomb comes out. I don't care about Bear Tick. He already did everything that he had to do. Flash Cannon comes out. We take the W and we go 2 and 1. <laughs> Let's get it, guys. Yo, what a third and final battle. That is an awesome battle to actually end on. We go 2 and 1 with this team and we rock out and do some work. So, I feel like we should have been 2 and 1 either way. That first battle, I feel like we should have won if I would have picked my team and had it all ready out. And that second battle, we definitely should have lost. Like, you guys already know that. If that uh, Confi would have just went after my Bear Tech, we probably would have lost that match. So, 2 and 1 either way. That third and final battle was a good battle. We put that one really well and really got to show off this Swift Swim team right here. But, guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. One last shout out to my boy Dan for dropping this team. I really appreciate it and I love the team. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.